Jeremy Null, although you may know him as Germ, calls himself South Africa's 39th best cartoonist, although we know he ranks much, much higher. He's in studio today to chat to us about his new book, Germ Warfare, and probably to rag us about our News24 comments. Germ, welcome to the studio. Thank you for coming in. So tell us a little bit about your new book. It's called Germ Warfare. Yes. There, there Apparently. Which, which camera? That one there. There, Germ Warfare. And um, this, uh, this is my first book. It came out about a month ago. Um, and it's, on, it's in bookstores countrywide. Um, and it took me about seven years to get to it. Um, but Penguin approached me last year. And um, so I said yes. But, but before that, leading up to it, I got um, a lot of rejection letters. So it took me quite a long time to, uh, to get a book. Um, but it's, it's, it's essentially a, a compilation of my favorite cartoons over the last uh, few years. I've, I've done a total of about, around about 5,000 published cartoons, and there's only about 140 or so in the book. So it was a tough, uh, tough process. I can imagine. Now, let's talk about the cover. Obviously, for us in the media, that's something really close to our hearts, yes. and that happens to be one of my favorite ones. This one? Yeah. So why did you choose that particular one for the cover? Well, um, this is actually a, <coughs> a variation of a cartoon that I drew. Um, I, uh, I, I think because Nkandla was, was, was a big topic, um, at least it has been a big topic over the last uh, year, um, and it still is. Um, and so uh, we decided to, to go with a variation of this cartoon, and because it kind, of, it kind of looks cool as well. It's a combination of two things. I'm not gonna, it wasn't too philosophical. It, just, it was just a nice cartoon to have on the front. It made a good point, and um, it has penises on it as well. I never noticed that. How did you get away with that? I have, I have great publishers. <laughs> That's incredible. So in 2005, you quit your job and you started as a full-time cartoonist. Mm. That must have been quite a leap of faith. Yes, um, it was quite stressful. Um, I, I, I got retrenched, um, and I decided that I was getting older, and if I didn't give cartooning a shot, um, I would never get the chance again. So I just went, uh, went for it, guns blazing, and lots of baked beans and toast and and rooibos tea, and um, it took me a couple of years before I got any kind of uh, break, but, but I did eventually in 2007, I got a very nice opportunity uh, with, uh, with, the, with the Times, with uh, Ray Hartley, who's, who wrote the forward for my book. Uh, he was the editor of the Times at that stage, and um, as you probably know, he became the editor of the Sunday Times up until a few months ago. Since then, you've been employed by EWN, and most recently ENCA, drawing daily. Yes, uh, EWN was, was, was an interesting one. Uh, when, when they approached me, I th didn't think it was, it didn't, make, it didn't make any sense. A radio, essentially a radio station feed, you know. Um, and um, the idea was to, was to draw for the website and um, uh, flow the cartoons over into, to, into the talk radio um, stations. And it worked out very, very, very well. It's a, it was a phenomenal um, um, opportunity and it was so successful now that uh, I now draw for ENCA for doing the same thing, excepting that their, their translation is TV as opposed to radio. Um, and I left EWN with an open position. I mean, th this was a, a job that had never before been, uh, been there. We, we created it out of thin air. And now uh, Curtis and Dr. Jack have taken that position. And so, so two cartoonists now have got a proper um, job. Uh, which is which is phenomenal. I mean, it shows the growth of, of online. Um, I'm a very 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 big supporter of online and digital. So yeah, so um, EWN and, and ENC have been have been a very very interesting but fantastic um, journey.